Cloud chasers online keep proving that there is no limit to how low they will go with just a little bit of fame on social media, as this galaxy brain YouTuber may land himself in prison pulling this airplane crash stunt all in the hopes of gaining views. Now NPC News, I mean NBC News, reports that this YouTuber did it for a sponsorship deal, where he originally told the feds his plane experienced a full loss of power, later misleading investigators, stating that he did not know where the plane crashed. Although he previously had a helicopter take the plane wreckage to a hangar, cutting it up and throwing it away at the airport, later admitting that it was all for a sponsorship deal. And unless his sponsorship deal was with Mr. Monopoly for some get out of jail free cards, this guy's in trouble. Not only because this stunt will likely land him in prison, but his social media aspirations are likely over as well. Because looking at his YouTube channel, once upon a time he was enjoying great success on the platform, but later found himself in a downturn except for his airplane crash fiasco. And yes, it got that video 3.2 million views in just a year, but I can't imagine he was anticipating that many views, or he would even break even considering that he had to destroy an airplane to make the video. And I don't know exactly how much a stunt channel would make, but let's just say that he makes maybe $5 per thousand views on YouTube. At 3.2 million views, he's only at $16,000, and I'd subtract the taxes and the cost of getting the helicopter and chopping up the airplane and scrapping it, but again, I'm not a math agent. All I know is he crashed a Taylorcraft BL-65 single-engine plane. Several years ago, they were listed at being around $13,000. But the only Taylorcraft single engine planes I can find for sale currently were for $25,000 and nearly $60,000. And no matter how you slice it, even in the most ideal conditions, I think even this guy knew he was going to lose a huge amount of money on this. Which just goes to show how addictive social media validation can be for these people. Because that's not even going into the worst part, where Daily Mail reports he's now facing 20 years in prison for the video he made trying to get a sponsorship deal with the wallet company with a video featuring him whacking through poison oak, struggling to find civilization, and complaining how thirsty and lost he felt. And if you've been watching me long enough, you've known I've done a few sponsored videos before. And I always try to pick a topic that is somewhat affiliated to the product that I'm endorsing. But what does a wallet company have to do with crashing an airplane? Oh gee, I almost died there. Good thing that I have my decoy brand wallet that can survive a fall from 36,000 feet. Or, oh no, the feds found the pieces of the airplane that I tried to destroy. Good thing this decoy wallet holds up to 10 credit cards that I'm going to need to pay off all my legal bills. It's all short-sighted nonsense. But again, it just goes to show how addictive social media fame has become to clout-chasing fools. Because looking at Daily Mail, it shows he gained internet fame back in 2011 for a snowboard stunt, then competed in the X Games and the Winter Olympics, and then was on an MTV show up until now where he was running a failed YouTube channel. And I'm not going to ridicule anybody for having declining views on YouTube. I see plenty of channels that I enjoy, but then their viewership mysteriously disappears even though I believe they're still producing amazing content. YouTube can just be a mystery sometimes, where well, you see even on my videos that my views go from the millions to the tens of thousands all in the same month. But this ginormous rising and falling of dopamine hits that these content creators are getting from social media platforms is actually causing them to go insane. I covered it with the pranksters that were actually committing armed robbery at airports for attention on social media, and I covered it with a clout chaser that was pranking the homeless by just being genuinely evil. Now the rapper guy is actually going to go to prison now, and check out that video if you haven't already. But the prankster guy just got some online backlash, so he's likely going to be right back at it. So now we're in this limbo of clout chasers online, constantly towing the line of doing something extreme, but not too extreme to go viral online. <laughs> Oh, it slipped out my hand. I'm so sorry. No problem. I'm sorry. No, no problem. That won't happen again. <laughs> and I see this Starbucks idiot the same way I see the airplane idiot. Without social media, I 1000% believe that they wouldn't be doing any of this. But for now, we just had to bear witness to this newfound prank to prison pipeline. 